All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM joining you from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Justin Franson, who is actually just up the road, actually that way, uh, in Orange County. How are you doing, Justin? Great, John. Good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Justin is an entrepreneur and the founder of Athleticism. Uh, and uh, what we're going to talk about today is man-made EMF and gra getting grounded by nature. So we'll get straight into it with uh, you explaining EMF. Uh, my only reference of EMF is uh, you know a dance band from back in the you know 90s who had a couple of hits. Uh, apart from that, EMF is a little bit of a mystery to me. So tell us all about it. Well, for most people, I think they know EMF as electromagnetic fields or frequencies. Now, it's really simple. There's two different types that we're going to really have you, uh, as far as category-wise, understand. There's the man-made version, which is how we're connecting uh, right now, and everyone's going to listen and see us. And then there's the cosmic form of electromagnetic fields and frequencies, which our universe and the world is, is made of. So those are the two different categories. Now, the man-made are one directional waveforms, John. They're different than the way the universe made the waveforms. Those are more scalar waves. If the sun were one directional, we wouldn't be here. So man-made ones are one directional and we could not talk and use these things if they weren't and electricity in the homes wouldn't work if they weren't one directional they're 10 zeros faster on the wireless signals than how we sleep rev and optimize and they have a polar opposite charge than how we get grounded uh from the earth so right. we have three strikes against us uh, on the man-made stuff so so with the how is that how is that impacting us though if we're if the man-made uh, emfs are running sort of counter to the universal ones or how how is that impacting us and where where can people see that impact in their daily lives well john you can go back to any bell curve from when electricity was introduced into our homes suicide diabetes cancer alzheimer's and dementia all uh, basically all well, kicked up into high gear and, and now it's fertility. So, uh, so, and then diabetes kind of took the cake because of all the fake food and glyphosate out there. So now we're seeing a whole new realm of EMF uh, that, that's really come into play. But shoot, there's studies that go back for years. The California Department of Public Health has acoustic nerve challenges for cell phones and directly correlates to cancer. Bioinitiative.org has done thousands of studies. I think thousands uh, about into the 15 to 17,000 range, which is about how many smoking had. And uh, there are several hundred scientists from 40 different countries that have participated in this, all showing that there's appropriate levels and then there's ones that aren't appropriate. I think uh, the Havana cohort, which we all saw on the news the last few years ago, the first attack of US embassy workers on foreign soil with microwave uh, were in Cuba and China uh, show that you know these symptoms are, they're real. They're the first signs. I think for your audience right now, guys that are in offices, the first signs are going to be all cognitive, focus, behavior, memory, fatigue, anxiety, headaches. You know, those are going to be the first ones that we're going to see of the excessive levels of computers and routers in a home or office place. Mm -hmm. Then you go into the next level, which would be ringing in the ears, more migraines, muscle twitches, you know, rashes on the skin that we saw with the Havana cohort type of thing nausea like non-trauma concussion symptoms and then you go into the bigs cancer suicide diabetes alzheimer's uh, and uh, suicide and and now again fertility so it, it it hurts us in a lot of ways and and, and but dr martin paul 
shows that the voltage gated calcium channels open up. So that's positive calcium into a negative cell. So excess calcium is not something we want. And then from there, the people break down, you know, right. wherever they're, they're weak. So, um, so despite what you've just said there, the studies and all of that, uh, we 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 live in a we live in a convenience culture. I call it shortcut culture. Like we love all this. You know, give me a device, give me something new, everything. You know, I don't even have to walk from my bed to the thermostat to turn on my heater, right? You know, because I can do it from my phone. So we're addicted to all of this convenience. So how, what you're outlining there. What what's the tipping point or what happens because we're so addicted to the conveniences yet the downsides we're kind of push them off to the side we we don't even really want to talk about them. Right, I, I mean, this is something that's been conditioned in our world as something that's beneficial for us. I mean, yeah, and there's so many great components. Yeah, when it's night, I can turn on electricity and actually see what's going on in my room. Like we. I get it. Like we could talk, you know, we're just you know, an hour away from each other, but we, mm -hmm. we were across the country. We could have these incredible conversations. Like there's so many benefits to it. Uh, I, I think the challenge lies in 1998, our government set procedural levels on nine ionizing versus ionizing. And so many is ionizing, it creates a thermal effect and it's not good for you. Well, that's not actually accurate. The, uh, there's an actual ionizing effect with these things, these batteries heat up, you know, there, there's, there's a thermal effect with a lot of EMF, you know, you put your laptop on your lap, you know, it's going to heat up. So, uh, we're, we're seeing that the procedural levels that, that were set and uh, so long ago, you know, have, have been overrun and, and haven't been updated. So we've, we've been tricked on the information provided for us. And I know we talked before about solar and solar is one of them. Like, hey, electric cars are great, solar is great. Well, unfortunately, John, they're not. I mean, you look at a battery, what is a battery? Whether it's a car or a battery storing your solar electricity, it's, it's all this the energy ready to go out that causes lots of vibration. That vibration is what we know affects us. And, that, and when you have a Stetzer electric meter, S-T-E-T-Z-E-R, stetzerelectric.com, Dave Stetzer created this meter that can meter dirty electricity, which is in the 4,000 to you know, a few hundred thousand waves per second range. There's lots of static electricity, and we call it dirty electricity from electric cars and the batteries and from homes with solar or LED lights with transmitters in them. Or yeah, in and it, and it, it, it's interesting because, um, you know, what you're saying here is obviously, uh, again, it's it's counter to, let's say, you know, a lot of the, the advertising out there or the narratives that come out. Um, so, I mean, you could end up with a house with big solar storage batteries, uh, you've got your electric car, you've got all of these things. So you're loading up on all of this and you're being and and you're assuming that this is going to actually make your life cleaner, easier, better and all of that. But you're saying that it can actually be quite the opposite. Right. I mean, that's how I got in this whole space is I, I work with athletes, athleticism.com is my other website and work with amateur and pros over the last couple of decades. And what I saw is increased radiation, you know, in their world. So I looked at what are the bio stressors and you have, what are, what are the stresses on the body? You have physical, emotional, and biochemical. So physical would be too much exercise, too little or none. <laughs> and then, you have bio, bio, uh, emotional thoughts, feelings, emotions, stress, and then you have biochemical food, drink, air, and electricity, EMF. So EMF was the one that no one was addressing that kept proliferating at the highest level. And I would see athletes breaking down because they're wearing their earbuds and driving Teslas and rolling in, you know, just EMF'd out with cell phones and, you know, all over them. So. Uh, I, I look to clear that, but that was the big thing. And then I started diving into homes and what is a healthy home? I mean, so many are working from home right now. So what does a home look like? Is your router right underneath your desk? I mean, is your, is your computer, well, your computer, your phone, your earbuds, like everything's wireless. 
So this is 2.45 billion waves per second. So when we sleep, our brain wave state is one or below one to eight hertz or waves per second. So you're looking at something that, again, 10 zeros faster than how we sleep. And then you keep adding on the different variables that you have near you, plus the stressors of electricity, which is measured in milligas, plus the stressors of potential dirty electricity with bad wiring or rats eating lines and the, the signals going in and out of a junction transformer not meeting. So you have all these compounding and it doesn't make for a really efficient, you know, productive person. Yeah, I mean, we've become our own data centers. Remember, we used to have everything in data centers. Now we just build our own home data centers with routers and computers and like everything all over the place. Um, tell me a little bit about, okay, so what can you do to counter this? I know you uh, you have a, a product, EMF Rocks, right? Is it? Um, and there we go, look at that. So tell me a little bit about how you can use that to counter this. Yeah, so when I saw these guys breaking down, I'm like, gosh, they gotta get grounded by nature. Nature is the answer, getting barefoot, getting outside, you know, we're near the ocean. Uh, I mean, I surf all the time. So go get, jump in the ocean if you can, go barefoot, touch a tree, hug a tree. I mean, whatever you can do to really connect to eight nature because our bodies are like a battery. You guys, you have batteries running this computer, running your phones. They have positive and, and negative charge. There's a neutral charge too, right? Those are the three different charges. Well, our bodies act like a battery. We have negative coming from below from the earth where we pull the electrons from. We have a positive coming from above from the scalar waves from the sun distributing equally in every direction. So if we're inside in fake lighting and we have shoes on and we're getting zapped all day, as Dr. Mercola say, we're EMF. We're not getting that battery recharge of our body that it's designed to have. So I look to nature to solve this EMF challenge. We hand mine crystals. They have moisture and magnetic properties. We put them in a bag and they actually kick off an incredible resonance of frequency. It's the healing pulse of the earth, that human resonance, 7.83 Hertz, same as when you're sleeping in that theta brainwave state. And they are meant to ground, repel EMF and recharge you for that deeper night's sleep and to repel that stuff and convert a waveform. So we can coexist with this man-made stuff. We can be super ultra productive during our workplace, whether we're at home or in an office or in a car and not be bombarded by this man-made EMF. And uh, and how do you, you and how do you use these um, how do you use these bags? So what you, you use it as them? is. Yeah, you yeah. use it as is. Keep it sealed. There's no need to open it. Literally, they're hand mined crystals. So shungite, amethyst, some of the other properties that have magnetic properties in them, uh, they don't have the moisture. These have been compressed from an underground water source, so they'll dry out and turn to dust. And that's the beauty of them is when they do, you know, you need to get a new one. With these other man-made devices, you don't know there's a futile effort. We're looking at 50 times 5G, John, 50 times yes. 5G. That's 60 to 90 billion waves per second is what we're being bombarded with, with new satellites, with the internet of things, with you know, San Onofre, the power plants, like all this cumulative effect, 50 times 5G. So to say that the man-made device can keep up with these man-made signals, there's no way. So we look to nature to do it. You need to use it as is, put one on or under your bed, five together on the floor will clear 2,000 square feet. You can also have a mini, uh, we have a mini for a pocket, a uh, purse or backpack. You could carry it with you. So I put my this on my in my pocket. I put the phone on the outside of it so there's a buffer between. And that's how you use them. I mean, you throw them in your car too. If you have an electric car, you're gonna need several of them behind the driver's seat. If you just have a regular car, there's still a lot of EMF in the new cars. You want to have at least one behind your driver's seat. So, uh, and how long? How long do they? How long do they last? Yeah, great question. At least a couple years to a decade. I mean, I've had the company wow. a couple years. They still have my doctor clinics all around the country, and they're still holding strong after a couple years. So we double seal them. So I, I have a feeling they'll last a lot longer. Obviously, if someone's opening them, they're in the sun. Uh, they they get wet. Whatever, they'll dry out quicker. But but for someone that just puts them 
you know, underneath their bed or on their bed, they're going to last for years. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what, what, so what, what difference are people, are people going to notice a difference over time once they start using one of these? Oh, definitely. So what I looked at is, uh, to see if you're toxic first. So most people, we're going to have a layer of EMF in our field from all the excess toxicity out there. And so our energy field carries our health as Bruce Lipton would share. Uh, and so what we do is we actually tap on the grounding bag and that'll clear your biofield. Uh, we use an applied kinesiology technique to cook, to recharge your eyes. So you cover your eyes and tap on the bag with the other hand. I'm tapping on it. It's out of camera, but I'm tapping on it then teeth, then thymus. Your thymus is your electrical system for your body. And you can also do it in your stomach area. So we use that to recharge your body. So if someone's toxic and they just throw the bag in their bed and they're like, man, I slept like crap. It means that you have this layer of toxicity that you need to flush. Cause when good meets toxicity, it's going to clash. Uh, so we want to clear that toxicity out. Uh, but what you'll notice is anywhere from three to 50% deeper sleep, you'll, uh, Dr. Bear Lando, he did a waveform test with his patients. Uh, the grounding bags clinically passively treat up to 91% of the markers that were off. Uh, you're right. going to notice uh, more energy when you tap on it, about, about 10 x your energy. You're going to feel a calming grounding sensation. Uh, you're going to have better cognitive skills in the workplace and not get as reactive. I mean, these are massive massive benefits the list goes on and on yeah no no absolutely well listen this this has been absolutely uh, absolutely fascinating and i think timely i think the more information and knowledge that we have about what's going on around us because as i said earlier we kind of just passively move forward and just accept all of these you know new advances and innovations kind of without question i know some people obviously like yourself question them but the general populace, we just kind of move ahead and go. So I think it's timely that people understand exactly what's going on and some remedies uh, to do this. Uh, all of Justin's information is going to be below this video. But before we go, please do tell us more about both your businesses, your athleticism and the grounding. Well, yeah, let me let me jump in real quick and just sum up kind of this waveform technology. I mean, I, I we started at the beginning, John, talking about the universe being electric. We have an electric universe, everybody, and we are one with it. There's a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg, categorizes all the pandemics in the history of the universe and, and directly correlates them to shifts in our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere because our atmosphere is plasma all around us. That's how the waveform travels. So just like uh, dolphins would be the ocean. So you pollute the ocean, they're gonna get sick. You, know, you pollute our air, we're gonna get sick. So 1918 Spanish flu, we introduced radio waves on a broad scale. Uh, satellites in the Van Allen belt in World War II, and, the, and then you had radar uh, coming in, uh, or Hong Kong flu and then radar. Uh, so uh, now 5G. So there's the lots of doctors and experts directly correlating environmental toxin of 5G to this pandemic and, and people adapting. So I really want people to understand that you know, a virus is something that we produce ourselves. It's our adaptive system. And we got to really look to clean up our world and, and, and especially our home where we're spending a lot of time, our office where we're spending a lot of time, really make sure you get grounded by nature. And so EMF rocks, we have a curated products uh, of EMF stuff from the mini and also Faraday bags to protect you from your phone, uh, your phone from uh, EMF and EMP, like an electromagnetic pulse. It protects the life of your battery for lasting longer. Cause the reason that these cell phone batteries don't last at least two weeks is because of data harvesting. They're just pulling, aggregating information and, and then uh, you double up two Faraday bags, your location of your phone will not show up on a map. So that's emfrocks.com, athleticism.com. We have curated health and performance products and a broad scale from uh, MCT oil to, uh, to essential oils to soil enhancers and, and jump bands and more, but, uh, and then a book that I wrote. So, those are the two sites, but I, I, I definitely, I mean, the final note, John is 
Yep. Get grounded by nature, everyone. Yeah, no, I think that's a that's a great message, and I would encourage people to go and do your own research and and uh, go go check out uh, Justin's websites. But but really get yourself informed. And as you said, we're we've transformed our homes into, as I said, into these mini data centers, and we have so much going on, so much Wi-Fi, so much wireless stuff going on, that it makes sense if you if there are things that can mitigate the negative impacts on it, we should be looking at that. And obviously. Let's face it, nature's a lot smarter than we are most of the time. So actually all of the time, let's face it. Um, so that's always a good thing. All right, well, listen, um, thanks again, Justin. Uh, my name is John Golden. I will see you all for another interview really soon. Thank you. Thanks, John.